Stuart, what was your take on today's draw? Um, no, listen, there's the, 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 the ultimate positive aspect is that we come from a goal behind. Poor goal we lose. Um, I thought we started the game really well, Scott. I thought we started in the front foot, made a few moments, in particular down our left-hand side. I thought we carried a, a genuine threat. Um, and then there was a wee kind of four or five minutes where it was harem scare uh, Obviously, St Mirren hit the woodwork initially for a free kick and the follow-up for that. And then you concede the goal in, in round about that kind of period. So um, we have to try and grow in the game. We have to try and come back in the game. I think my greatest frustration I've said it to players at half time and full time is I just didn't I didn't think we were clean enough in our work in possession. Um, I thought at times we almost mounted St John uh, St Mirren's sorry's uh, attacks. We you know by us being loose in possession, selecting the wrong options, um, and when we when I felt we went to the right things, I actually thought that we, we looked relatively slick in moments. Um, but second half same again, start the half pretty well, and then there's a lull. You know there's a lull in the second half whereby um, I thought we took a step back. I thought that St Mirren were jumping on second balls which we know that they're pretty good at um, and, we, and we really couldn't get a flow and a rhythm into the game but particularly happy with the goal we scored it was a wee something that we'd kind of worked on through the week with that restart in the game um, it ends up with a really good delivery to the back post for, for Jack Vale um, and then the bit of quality for Stephen O'Donnell just to thread it across the six yard box so it was a good goal um, and then from being in that position similar to Aberdeen you're thinking you know, can we show a reaction can we get ourselves back level first and foremost and you obviously want to go and try and win the game as well um, if truth be told and I'm not so sure we had enough quality on the day um, from, from ourselves to justify saying that we should could or should win the game um, but no, I'm happy with the fact that we, we come back from that losing position um, which was a great frustration for us against Aberdeen. Um, we sort of bemoaned that and, and where we were in that in that particular game. So um, I think we can be a lot better individually and collectively, Scott. Overall, but happy with the happy with the, the aspect where we show character to come back. Is it fair to say then that you're you're happier with the character and mentality shown more than the performance? Yeah, we, we, we just spoke about it there being purely technique um, and, and selecting options. It's a big thing that we work towards during the week. We, we really go specific on the details of where we're trying to pass the ball, um, what players we're trying to connect on the pitch, etc. Um, and I didn't feel that there was connection between some that, that have been very good at it um, over months. Um, and then also just that, that idea of receiving the ball and being able to handle it and trusting yourself to play a pass through the opposition and at times I just felt that um, we either rushed it when we, we selected the wrong the wrong choice or we didn't execute it well you know just very simply by that technique aspect so um, the players are good that way Scott they, they, they hold their hands up they know that they've not they've not been at their best from that side of things um, but what they have done is mustered up the courage um, and the desire to come and try and get themselves back into a game it's a point um, we would have liked three of course we would have um, but we were in a losing position at half time and you know you have to do something in the second half to get yourself back on level terms. Two games between now and the split what do you want to see from your group of players going into that? Well you know I've never been one for thinking about shouting my mouth off for top six but we've two games to go one at home one away from home um, we play against the, the two teams that currently sit above us in the league um, I think there's a six point difference at this minute in time so we obviously need one or two things to go in our favour um, if what looks unlikely at this stage to, to, to try and make a, a, a charge and a run at the, the top six comes about um, but that that's ultimately it you know we're away from home against uh, Dundee next week so we want to try and pick up three points and at the end of that day um, try and see where that takes you see what position that puts you in in the league but I think always a good place to be is is, is trying to pick up points you know I break down the last four games um, that we've had specifically we've had two wins a draw and a defeat in there the defeat still kind of uh, has a better taste in our mouth um, but from that point of view you know the results haven't been terrible if we want to break it down to that chunk I know people sometimes stretch that run and all the rest of it but from where we're sitting at this minute in time um, you know we've, we've amassed some points we would like it to be better um, and then off the back of today we want to perform better we want to play better um, but I think we, we need to be honest enough to hold our hands up I don't want to try and uh, screen over my genuine thought on that which was nah I didn't feel as if we were we were as slick as what we can be and we didn't connect key players on the pitch um, but we go back to work this week and we make sure that we try and brace ourselves and get ready for Dens Park next week. Thanks for your time Stuart. Cheers Scott.